a friend of mine offered me some marijuana. And I said, okay, fine. Cynthia Winia says under normal circumstances, she would have never tried marijuana, but after years of painful spine issues and friends telling her it could help, she did. It took me a while to realize it. I was getting up and down, I was going upstairs, I was moving around, we were dancing. Um, it didn't hurt. Cynthia's story isn't rare. Across the country, 16 states have legalized marijuana for treatment of patients with chronic pain, including cancer, arthritis, and spinal issues. And while it remains illegal in most states, Cynthia says chronic pain can lead sufferers to take risks. It criminalizes people who are, who are well and who are desperate. They're desperate to relieve their pain. They're willing to take the risk of arrest and prosecution and fines and jail time because their life is profoundly affected by the amount of pain that they're in. In Ohio, signatures are being gathered for two medical marijuana amendments. Both will need nearly 400,000 valid signatures to qualify for the ballot. The first, supported by the Ohio Medical Cannabis Association, would make Ohio the 17th state to legalize marijuana for medical purposes. The second, the Alternative Treatment Amendment, would create a commission to determine how much marijuana an individual could possess, where it can be sold, and the taxes attached to buying and selling. I don't know of any other drug in our repertoire of medications where you take it and you know only what it might do, but you have no idea what the side effects are. Marcy Seidel, the executive director of Drug Free Action Alliance in Ohio, says legalizing pot for any reason is a decision that should be left up to the medical community. We don't do it through a legislative or a voter process. We are not equipped as citizens or legislators to be able to make those kind of determinations on what the proper medications are for people. A growing number of voters and lawmakers disagree. New Jersey recently issued its first permit to grow medical marijuana legally. A dozen other states are now debating the issue. This isn't about George Carlin. This isn't about Cheech and Chong. This is about Mr. and Mrs. Jones, who might be in their late 70s or early 80s, that are currently suffering, who have glaucoma, who have multiple sclerosis, who have stomach cancer, and the list goes on and on and on. Representative Kenny Yuko has tried to get a medical marijuana law through the state house, but it's faced stiff opposition from opponents, including Governor John Kasich. I think we have an opportunity to really um, make people stop and think when they go into the ballot box. Marcy says her group, along with top law enforcement organizations, will paint marijuana as a drug that causes more overall harm to society. She says until the FDA can prove its benefits, it should not be available under any circumstance. It's a point of view that Cynthia and supporters of medical marijuana reject. If this can relieve pain from people who cannot find relief in any other way, there is no reason not to legalize it for medical use. Ultimately, that may be up to Ohioans to decide. In Columbus, Jim Heath, The Ohio News Network.